Spock. What do you think about our new desktop viewer? Fascinating. Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Coke and Strippers, where we make electronic projects. I'm Monty Elkins, and today we are going to make this from Star Trek, the original series, right? The real stuff, the most advanced technology imaginable in the 1960s. We're going to build this at home miniature. This is called a Beetle. It's an Arduino clone. Uh, it uses the AT Mega 32U4 like the Leonardo. It has this interesting feature where they say you could just push wires through the holes and twist them to use it, <laughs> which doesn't sound like a good idea other than I've done crazy stuff like that, maybe. Uh, but I think that's what these notches are for. So when you twist these wires together, they uh, the wires won't hit each other. <laughs> This is what we're going to use to drive our desktop viewer. This will run all the software. This will have the images. All right. Well, this is what we're going to use. Time to solder a few wires to it. I hear that some people like soldering videos, that they're fascinating. Normally, I probably wouldn't be too interested, but when I look at it going by fast and smooth, that looks pretty nifty. It's like, man, I wish I could really do that that quickly. Anyway, if you don't like it, you know, skip this 30 seconds. Or, wait a minute, I guess it's already over. There we go. That's not awful. I've got this display. Oh, look at, look at this. Isn't this cute? Oh, look at that. It's so pretty. This is an SPI serial 128 by 64. Four uh, OLED. Uh, so you've got 128 pixels across, 64 down. Doesn't sound like a lot, but you can do some stuff with that. You can actually run it as I2C uh, if you change these resistors on the back. This one comes default uh, as SPI. We're going to use this display in our desktop viewer, so let's get it wired up. All right, let's upload this code. Upload. We get. What do we get? 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 Sometimes you have to reset this thing by sorting those two pins on the back. Let's try that, see if it likes that any better. <laughs> Star Trek Rocks! Picking out a few symbols to include. I found this web page that I can convert them to ProgMem. That way they don't take up a lot of space. They end up in the flash. And then I cut and paste them into the Arduino code. And they look like this. Lots of rows of numbers. It's gonna be good stuff. Time to start doing a little sketching. Always helped out by a little Romulan L. And one of my favorite glasses I made. Starting to put together the parts uh, in Fusion 360 from some drawings I found online. Oh, we're getting close now. All right, this is ABS plastic, so you can solvent weld it with acetone. A little bit of acetone, some clamps. It is time to make this thing. Oh, so close now, I can taste it. Time to get in the paint booth and get a little paint on there.
So look how this thing turned out. I'm so happy. I mean, it looks even better than, than I expected. So we take a little USB cable and we plug it up here in the back. And what do we get? Oh, we get Star Trek. Look at that, Star Trek. Oh, yeah, those are the good guys. That's the, that's the United Federation of Planets. Um, oh, and they drive ships that look like this, right? Or, or, or from the side, if you need identification, they look a little more like this. And they come into the galaxy and they go zoom off the side. But watch out for these guys because these are the bad guys. And they drive ships that look like this. And oh wait, there's one of them coming now. Oh no, oh it's firing! <laughs> So we got lots of cool displays on here. Uh, pictures going by, oh, oh, we won't tell you who these guys are there anyway, it's a secret. So, um, all right, I think it's pretty cool and it looks a lot like the, like the original. Uh, so I am so happy. I mean, it's, it's, it's even better than, it's even better than I imagined. Uh, maybe, hey, if you're interested, maybe I'll drop this on eBay. You can take a look and, and pick it up if you like, but, Anyway, if you like this video, if you like things like this, if you had fun, give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe and all the cool things that'll keep these videos coming and I appreciate it. So anyway, spend all of your money on Coke and strippers. Spock, what do you think about Coke and strippers? Fascinating.